everyone, I'm Isa. Welcome to Isa Vibes. Oh, look, we have a friend today. Hi. I'm glad to see you here, and I hope you're fine. For today, I'm happy to share with you my new face fan art. Stay with me to see the process from the beginning to the end, and maybe you will get some inspiration. Who knows? Take a seat and enjoy. Luffy is a character from One Piece, created by the incredible Ichiro Oda. What I love the most about him is his smile. When he laughs, I can't help but start laughing too. It's so contagious and funny. I also appreciate how loyal and protective he is. When he feels that his friends are in danger, he will be the first one to go help them. It makes him more special and a good leader. He doesn't leave them behind. Oh here, I'm just turning the image to see the mistakes. I always encourage people to do it, since it helps correct in proportion and perspective mistakes. If someone asks me, what is Luffy to you? I will say that he is a source of inspiration and happiness. I see him as a brave character who fights for his dreams. He is also confident in his power. He doesn't let other pirates humiliate him or his crew. Now that I see this, I just think of them calling him Mugiwara. <laughs> it means... Um, let me google it because I know what it means in Spanish, but I don't know what it means in English. Just give me a few seconds. It means straw hut. This is something that I really love in this character design. His straw hut is his treasure. I don't want to spoil, but someone really important for Luffy gave this to him. To be honest, it is not the first time that I draw him. Some years ago, I used him a lot of time for shadow studies, in traditional art style. One day, I also offered a drawing of Luffy to my grandfathers. As I said before, he spread happiness because of his contagious smile. I wanted my grandfathers to feel happy while seeing the drawing when I'm not there. Hey, 
Look, I'm using reference. Is it surprising? Nope. Most of the artists use tons of reference. Don't hesitate to use them. Especially when you're trying to draw human hands. <laughs> it can get pretty difficult. I know what I'm talking about. this drawing. The most difficult part was the fit. The fit. It was awful. Do you hear it? Awful. It was even harder than drawing the hands. Every time that I tried to draw some random fit, it just looked like a mutant potato with little fries at the front. It looks yummy, not realistic. And I needed to be realistic. Oh, here I'm drawing random things to find some inspiration. I didn't know where to make him stand. Mm, after trying with meat, it didn't work, so I tried onigiri. But it didn't work neither, I didn't like it. Let's just move on and leave that for later. <laughs> Let's come back here and get this done. I finally decided to draw a wine barrel. First, it's one of the most common things you will see in a pirate's ship. Lastly, it reminds me of the first episode, when Luffy just came out of nowhere from the barrel. It was hilarious. He didn't even care about the other pirates. He was just hungry. correction. I just saw that arm and I was like, oh gosh, it looks so broken. But then I thought about the fact that Luffy has eaten a demon fruit, so he have that gomu gomu power. Technically, his bones can break. Am I right? I think so. In any case, I didn't want it to look like a spaghetti. 
or a noodle. This is one of my favorite parts. When I give shadow to a drawing, it becomes less flat. In other words, it comes to life. What helps the most with this process is reference and studies. I can say that when the light comes from the left, on top, it's easier for me to give shadows. It's the most common lighting that I use. But nevertheless, it could be interesting to start experimenting and try new angles get out of my comfort zone it's the only way to improve i don't know why i don't know the spell i'm under is only a veil beneath it the sweetness has faded away i don't know the spell i'm under is only a veil Away. I kinda like it how it looked, but then I wonder if it would look like a flag that I don't know. I decided to not take any risk and remove it. And it was a good choice. Let's take a mini lesson of geography. I literally googled blue flag orange circle and I found this. I was like, nani kore. I then did some more research and this is the flag from this place, Paulo. It looks so beautiful. I wanna go there, <sighs> but coronavirus won't allow me. Oof. Let's go back to the drawing. to give that thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and to let a comment down below. Bye bye, I will see you in my next video. Bye!